After studying this module, you shall be able to understand how to assign the Stix code for a given structure or for a given structure of borane and different types of bonds which exist in boranes, Wade's rules and its application and different structures of boranes. Now boranes and carboranes are electron deficient compounds with interesting molecular geometries and characteristic bonding features. Now we are going to assign Stix rules to these boranes for the, their nomenclature. What exactly is Stix rule or number? The Stix number is used to understand the types of bonds in boranes. The scientist named as WN Lipscomb developed a method for determining what combination of bonding features such as types of bonds are possible for specific formula of borone hydride. So each borone hydride will be assigned a Stix number or Stix code according to the rules which we are going to mention in detail in this module. So depending on the structure there are mainly five types of boranes and these are Closo boranes, Nidoboranes, Arachnoboranes, Hyphnoboranes and Conjunctoboranes. So we will be studying all about their structures, how these are assigned and what kind of examples of boranes which fall into this structural type in detail. The Stix number is used to understand the types of bonds in boranes. It is a method for determining what combinations of bonding features or types of bonds are possible for a specific formula of boron hydride. Each boron in neutral boron hydrides, hydroborate ions and carborane cations each borane has at least one hydrogen attached by a normal two electron sigma bond, two center two electron. It can be assumed that one boron hydrogen bond is present per boron atom. Now let us know how to assign Stix code. Limbscomb proposed that any of the following, the three center two electrons boron hydrogen boron bond can be labeled as S. The closed and or open three center two electrons boron 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 bond can be labeled as T whereas the two center two electron boron boron bond can be labeled as Y and the two center two electrons boron hydrogen terminal bond can be labeled as X. The boron 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 bond may be open or closed but subsequent theoretical studies have shown that the open boron 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 bonds need not be considered. The three centered bonds are necessary to account for boron hydride bonding because each boron hydrogen unit at a polyhedral vertex can supply three orbitals but two electrons only to framework. This is because now we shall move on to the relationship between the formula of boranes and the number and kinds of bonds in the molecule. First, the sum of the numbers of three center boron hydrogen boron bonds labeled as S and the number of three centered boron 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 bonds labeled as T must equal to the number of boron hydrogen unit P. Secondly, we can assume that each boron has at least one terminal hydrogen attached to it and the remaining hydrogen atoms Q must be divided between bridges labeled as S and additional boron hydrogen terminal bonds labeled as X. All of these electron pairs must then be used in bonding. The total number of bond pairs being sum of S, T, Y and X. Now we will learn about the rules to determine the Stix code for boranes. Step 1. Write the general formula of the given borane in terms of BH whole P H Q so that the value of P and Q can be fixed. For diborane P equals 2 and Q equals 4. Step 2. Calculate the number of boron hydrogen boron bridges which are represented by S. 
est must have value in range from q by 2 to q or the value of est must satisfy the condition q by 2 less than equal to s less than equal to q step 3 for different values of s obtained in step 2 we have to calculate the equally possible solutions for the value of t y and x which is collectively called sticks number step 4 there are usually several sticks number for a given boron hydride and therefore several possible topologies here are the empirical rules to write the sticks code a the set of sticks number with negative value are not included as they have no physical significance b all known boron hydrides have at least a two-fold symmetry so it is assumed that any new hydride probably would have at least one plane center or two-fold axis of symmetry low symmetry appears to provide center of reactivity c only one terminal hydrogen and no bridging hydrogen may be attached to a boron that is bound to five neighboring borons this restricts boron hydrogen boron bridge and bh2 groups to the open edge of boron frameworks d if a boron is born to four other boron atoms it will probably not make use of more than one boron hydrogen boron bridge e a boron atom that is bound to only two other boron atoms will be involved in at least one boron hydrogen boron bridge now let us take the example of diborane step one diborane can be represented as b2h6 that is bh whole twice h4 so p equals 2 and q equals 4 step 2 here q equals 4 and q by 2 equals 2 as you know that the value of s must lie between q and q by 2 so the possible values of s are 2 3 or 4 in step 3 we can calculate the possible values of t and x for all the above mentioned s values here from equation 1 t equals p minus s we can write t equals 2 minus 2 thereby giving t equals 0 and from the equation 2 x equals q minus s we can write x equals 4 minus 2 by taking the value of s equals 2 giving x equals 2 in step 4 the values of y can be calculated by the formula y equals s minus x which comes out to be for x equals 2 and s equals 2 therefore the value of s equals 2 the first possible set of six numbers is 2002 similarly other possible six code can be calculated for the other values of s which are 3 and 4 now if we look at the six table the six code containing negative values for s equals 3 and 4 Hence, only possible sticks code for diborane is 2002, which can be rationalized by looking at the structure of diborane, where there are two boron hydrogen boron bridges and the value of S equals 2, no three center boron 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 bonds, and the value of T equals 0, or two center boron boron bonds, which implies y equals 0 and there are two boron hydrogen terminal bonds which means x equals 2 some other sticks number for higher boranes are shown here boranes fall into five structural categories closer boranes have all the n vertices of n concerned polyhedron are occupied by boron atoms nido boranes have one vertex missing from the parent closoborane. Arachnoboranes 
have two vertices missing from the parent closoborane. Hypoboranes have three vertices missing from the parent closoboranes. Have all n vertices of n concerned polyhedron are occupied by boron atoms. Congenectoboranes form joined together. Congenectoboranes are formed by joining two or more preceding types. Closoboranes have the general formula of Bn Hn whole raise to charge minus two. For example, in hexahydrohexaborate two minus the B six H six two minus unit has regular octahedron structure in which six boron atoms occupy the six corner of regular polyhedron. It has closed symmetrical structure. Nidoboranes have general formula of Bn Hn whole charge of minus four. For example, in pentaborane B5 H9, only five vertices are occupied by boron atoms of regular six-cornered octahedron. Arachnoboranes have general formula of Bn Hn whole raised to charge minus six. For example, in tetraborane B4 H10, only four vertices are occupied by the boron atoms. Wadamingo rules are used to rationalize the shape of borane clusters by calculating the total number of available skeletal electron pairs available for cluster bonding. This understanding the structural relationship of various boranes is extremely important. The general methodology for the application of Wade rules are as follows. In step one, Determine the total number of valence electrons from the chemical formula by considering three electron per boron and one electron per hydrogen atoms by adding the anionic charge on the cluster. In step two, we subtract two electrons per pH unit from the total electrons and divide the remaining number by two to get the number of skeletal electron pairs. The total number of vertices present in the cluster can be determined by subtracting one from the number of skeletal electron pairs. Hence, the total number of vertices in boron cluster is one less than the total skeletal electron pairs. Consider B5H11 pentaborane. Skeletal electron count is 2 times pH plus 3 times CH plus 1 additional H plus anionic charge on cluster equals 2 into 5 plus 0 plus 6 plus 0 equals 16. Hence, number of electron count equals 16 by 2 equals 8. Therefore, the number of vertices equals n equals 5 and hence it is an arachnoborane. Two vertices are missing. Let us now summarize what we have studied in this module. The Stix number which is used to understand the types of bonds in boranes. This symbol S, T, Y, X constitute the Stix code. It corresponds to, for example, S corresponds to the number of three centered two electron BHB bridge bonds and T corresponds to the number of three centered two electron PBB bonds. The Y corresponds to the number of three centered two electron BB bonds and X corresponds to the number of terminal hydrogen atoms which is simply the number of BH2 groups. Now boranes are classified structurally into five main categories with closo, nido, arachno, hypno and conjunctoboranes. Now closoboranes having the general formula Bn H2n 2 minus have n vertices of n concerned polyhydrin which are occupied by boron atoms. The nidoboranes having the general formula Bn H2n 4 minus have one vertex missing from the apparent closoborane. Arachnoborane having the general formula Bn H2n 6 minus have two vertices missing from the closo parent 
formula parent closer borane then we have hypnoborane which has three vortices missing from the parent closer borane and lastly the conjunctor borane which is formed by joining two or more of these preceding structures